Hey guys, um, uh, today I'm gonna be making a video showing how do you how to get scents onto your um, T-Mobile G2. Um, it's a very simple process, but before we start, I want to say two things. If you want to continue watching this video, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your phone. If you brick your phone, that's your fault. You wanted to do this yourself, so please don't blame me and come to me if you bricked your phone. I will try to help you, but. If you break your phone and you blame me, then it's not my fault. It's your fault. And secondly, you have to have root access for this to work. If you do not, ha if you do not have root access, it will not work. If you do not know what root is, you probably shouldn't try to do this. And if you want to know what how to root your phone, I'll put a link in the description for a vid for a video where it'll show you how to root it, so you guys can get root access and watch the rest of this video. But without further ado, here is sense on my phone. Um, I like this so much better than uh, stock Android 2.2 uh, Froyo. It, it's so much more. Uh, it has all the cloud effects and flip down clock, all the different clocks with the widgets, all that, which makes it an amazing um, operating system or uh, skin version of Android. Now, um, I'm gonna be showing you how to get this onto your phone. Before we start. Um, I'm gonna need you guys to download the the links in the bottom uh, description box. There's gonna be uh, one or two links, I'm not sure. And once you download that, you're gonna put it onto the root of your SD card. The root that means no folders, just onto your SD card. If you put it in any folders, it will not work. So after you have that onto your uh, root of your SD card and you're rooted, you're gonna go to the market. This is on this. I'm just showing you on um on uh my phone. Even though I'm not gonna reflash it, I'll just show you the steps you need to take, and it's a pretty similar process. You know, you should uh, be able to do it after you're done. So after you uh after you put it into the um, whatever your SD card, we're gonna go to the market. Oops. Hopefully this will load. Sorry guys, I don't know why this isn't loading up. Any day now. Ah, there we go. We're going to the market and then we're going and download an app called ROM Manager. ROM Manager. It should pop up in suggestions. And it looks like that. It looks like um, a gear with a hat on it. So, after you download that, um, you're gonna go to ROM Manager, and you don't have to buy the full version. You can free version works just fine. You're gonna go to ROM Manager, and let's wait for that to load up. Any day now. Wow. Ah, and it's gonna give you an option of Flash Clock Work Mod Recovery. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press that, and um, you're gonna confirm the, the model right here if it can focus in and it's not so bright. It says HTC G2. You're obviously gonna press that. I'm not gonna press it since I already have Clockwork Recover Clockwork Mod Recovery onto it. And after you do that, you're gonna press Reboot into Recovery. It's gonna give you a uh, Are you sure you want to do it? And then you're gonna press Yes. And after you do that, it should reboot your phone. Just wait a while to, for it to reboot, and you should get the HTC screen. Right. Sorry, there we go. HTC screen, and you're just gonna wait for that to reboot into recovery. <clears throat> Can take a while. Uh, and this is what you should get if you did everything correct. Now, if you got this correct, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to backup and restore. This is the third one at the bottom. Back up and restore right here. And to do that, and you're gonna back up your current ROM. It's very important that you do this. Because let's say um, something goes wrong, you flash to a ROM incorrectly, or you just want to go back to Froyo. You can easily just go back to the backup and restore and restore the ROM that you saved. Really um really helpful if you guys aren't used to this, and it's helpful if you just wanna if you're one of those people that switch from uh, ROM to ROM and you know yeah and after you do that the thing you're gonna do is gonna press wipe and data factory reset 
and I'm not going to do it since I already, um, I already went through this process. But after you get that, you should come back to Clockwork um, Mod Recovery. Then you're going to go to Apply SD Card Update. That's it. And then you're going to do, um, you're going to do, we're going to go there. And it's going to ask, it's going to give, just a sec, it's going to give you a bunch of options. Yes, install SD card, that's it. Um, just a sec, guys, this is uh, kind of weird. Um, oh, my bad, I'm sorry, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to go to install zip from SD card. I'm sorry, guys. That should be um, the fifth one. So you're going to press that. Then you're gonna do choose zip from SD card. Do not p apply SD card dot update zip. Don't do that. Choose zip from SD card, which is the second one. You can go up there, and then you're gonna you're gonna get all your files onto your SD card. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go find that file I told you to download. Uh, mine is called Virtuous Vision underscore Froyo underscore ROM dash version zero point eight point zero dot zip. Now the ROM I have right now, it's that's not the latest version. I'll put the latest version uh, in the description. I don't really feel like reflashing it and losing all my data, but um, if you're a first time, this is, if this is your first time doing this, then um, I definitely recommend that you download the latest version. Well, it's pretty common to download that. So you're gonna press, you're gonna press that, and it's gonna give you. Do you are you sure you want to install? You're gonna press yes, and after you're all done with that. Uh, you, you're gonna come back to recovery, and you're gonna press reboot system now. And when you do that, you have successfully um, flashed the desired ZROM onto your HDC G2. Um, so then you're just gonna go through the process of um, of uh, the setup process for HTC, you know, set up your Gmail account, HTC Hub, all that, and you should have it. Now, if it seems a little laggy to you, the thing you can do is you could uh, flash a kernel onto your um, onto your device, and that means you can overclock it and make it faster. You can go your kernel that there's even a kernel that um, lets you flash, lets you overclock to so two gigahertz. Now, I don't recommend that you do that, not at all. That will kill your processor. I guarantee you. But I keep my overclock at about 1.2, 1.1, you know, just to keep it uh, substantially fast. And, um, yeah, it's basically, if you did everything right, you should have HTC Sense on your phone. Um, I'll make another video showing you how to flash a kernel. It's really simple. It takes two seconds, I guarantee you. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Look for the links in the bottom. Download them. Put them on the root of your Z card. The root. If you do this wrong then don't come complain to me. Remember, root of your SD card, and you're gonna get download Mat raw manager, you're gonna flash clock work mod recovery, you're gonna re reboot into recovery, you're gonna install from zip, you're gonna choose your zip file that you put into your SD card. It does not have to be the name that it's given, you can change it, so um, so you can read it better, you know, I change it to um, desire Z ROM if you want to, it does not have to be the name that uh, it's given to you, you can change it, and after you do that, you should um you should have a sense ROM onto your um HDG2. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a video on how to root your G G1 soon. It's so easy. I'm pretty. I'll, I'll do it today if I have any time. And um, thanks for watching. See you guys later.